Hello and welcome to this video on cross tab tool of Alteryx. It is very similar to Excel's pivot table. In Excel pivot table, you have a section called row fields. In this tool, the same is represented by group data. Next, we have something called column fields in the pivot table, which is again represented by column headers in the Alteryx tool of cross tab. Next, we have this area where all mathematical computations are performed. It is called value fields in pivot table. The same thing in Alteryx cross tab tool is represented by values for new columns. Now from here, you can decide the aggregating methods such as sum, average, count, etc. Now before we move to see this in action, I would request you to pause the video and take a look at the screen. Once you've got a basic idea, let's go ahead. For convenience, I've already taken a basic data set of employees using text input tool. You would notice name, New York location, department that the employees work with, gender and salary. Now to give a basic idea how cross tab tool works, let me look at the output of cross tab. In this simple example, I would want to list out all the department names, which is nothing but row fields in pivot table. Then I would want the header to be represented by the gender. And then I want the aggregation method to be count. This tells me how many male and female members are there in each department. Before we do this step from scratch, let's look at the configuration panel. In the group data, we have department. In the header, we have gender. We are using salary value for calculation and we are doing count as an aggregation method. So let me delete the cross tab tool and go to transform tab and bring cross tab tool in the canvas area. Next, let me choose department. Then the column headers could come from gender. Values should be coming from salary. And instead of count, let me try putting sum. I'm going to hit the shortcut key control R from the keyboard and moments from now, what I get to see is an aggregated data based on department and gender. Now, let me do this again, this time choosing a different set of options. Let me go back and choose New York location in the group data set. Next, in the column header, I choose the department and then let me choose the count instead of sum. As usual, let me press Ctrl R and instantly what I get to see is the list of all the New York locations from where the employees travel. What I also get to see is the different headings such as finance, admin, HR, and then I get to see the count. So friends, remember cross tab tool in Alteryx is very similar to Excel's pivot table. This picture will help you recollect later. 